The curvy ride west on US 41A takes you through Sewanee, home of the University of the South, where the austere Gothic buildings offer some of the most unique sights along the way. Hello, I'm Rocco Calandrucio. I'm the Sustainability Coordinator for the University of the South. Um, University of the South is also called Sewanee. Sewanee was founded uh, before the Civil War uh, by the Episcopal Church. Um, we're in Middle Tennessee and we have a pretty unique uh, set of traditions here. You'll notice that uh, Sewanee has uh, Gothic architecture uh, that was borrowed from uh, Oxford University in England. Uh, my position relates to making this community a little bit more green. Uh, we're involved with all sorts of programs, activities, providing leadership opportunities for students, as well as involving the community in general in programs that support organizations that uh, make the community a little bit more sustainable. The Memorial Cross, located on the northwest side of campus, is a popular spot to take photos and enjoy spectacular sunset views overlooking the valley. The little village of Sewanee offers a variety of coffee houses, cafes, a bicycle shop, and gift boutiques featuring local crafts. Hi, I'm Woody Deutsch. I own Woody's Bicycles. We are a full service bicycle shop, open six days a week, Monday through Saturday, nine to five on the weekdays, 10 to two on Saturday, close on Sundays, and uh, we really sell bicycles designed for the whole family. We have children's bikes, we have adult bikes that are just great for just riding around the block. We have bicycles that are for the more serious minded that wants to go out there and mountain bike on, on challenging trails. We have road bikes for going out anywhere from between 15 and 100 miles, uh, but basically we aim more for the family and we do repairs. We sell all sorts of, uh, of clothing and uh, lights and accessories for cycling and uh, try to reach out for everybody for all needs. The Natural Bridge, three miles southwest of campus, is a unique 25 feet high natural sandstone arch with a span of 50 feet that provides a scenic overlook of Lost Cove. Sewanee Franklin County Airport offers another way to visit and tour the mountain from an eagle eye view. I'm Rebecca Gibson. I run the Suwannee Franklin County Airport. The Suwannee Franklin County Airport uh, serves the greater Monteagle Suwannee area. Uh, we have a runway long enough to serve even small jets. Uh, we don't have airline service, but we do let uh, general aviation fly in. We have uh, flight instruction available. I give flight lessons in a four-seater airplane. And uh, we can serve the area for charter flights coming in. The airport's attended uh, eight to five, seven days a week. We sell fuel to airplanes and we hangar airplanes here also.